I just spent a ton of time inside of Adobe Premiere exporting individual clips by adding in and out points for every clip before I found a solution that lets you just export individual clips with a bulk option. Just one setting that you gotta turn on. So instead of putting in and out point, let me show you this much faster option. I have my project open here and there's ton of different clips. And what the problem is here is basically what I was doing is I was finding a clip, I was coming over here, I was pressing I for in point, I was going over here, pressing O for out point, and then I would go and press file, export media, and then I would just export that clip on whatever setting I chose here. And it took a really long time. I was doing it for a client project here because they wanted to see all the different takes that we had on our commercial shoot. Let me clear the in and out point and let me show you this much, much better option. If you come up to file here and instead of going to export, we want to go to project manager all the way on the bottom of the page. And on project manager here on this page, there's an option, it says resulting project, consolidate and transcode. So press that, consolidate and transcode. And for source, by default is set to sequence, but you could do individual clips here and you could change the format. So I chose QuickTime here to make sure I get not a super compressed file here. Preset, I set that to Apple ProRes 422. You could also do 422 HQ, again, a much bigger file size or even 4444, but 422 in my case is plenty. I make sure I have enough available disk space. 2.5 in this case is fine. I'm gonna go nowhere near that to fill that up. And then you choose a path. So the next is choosing the destination path. And then you have some options over here that I need to tell you about. Exclude unused clips. I wanna export everything. You wanna add handle. You could actually put how much of a handle. So if you're giving this to another editor, handle is always nice. So 24 by default is perfect. But you could actually just leave this checked off and it will export exactly how you edited the clip on the sequence. But I do check rename media file to match clip names. I do have that checked on. So if you wanna follow what I'm doing, this is what I have set. And then you could actually press calculate here to analyze the project and see what's going on over here. So it says original project is 408 gigabytes, resulting projects is 304 gigabytes. So I am shaving off a good amount here. And if I press exclude, let me go ahead and do that one more time. Now I'm not gonna include any unused clips and it should be much, much smaller now. Now this is only what's on my sequence. If I wanna just export what's on my sequence and leave the unused clips not included here. And then I would just go ahead and press okay when I'm ready and it will save the project and export those clips individually. Now, the only problem I had with this option, which is the only option to do this in bulk, is a couple of different effects like warp stabilizer. If you had shaky footage, I applied the warp stabilizer. They didn't export out, so they don't actually export some effects like that. So if you shot shaky footage for a client and you wanna do this, you can't do it the way I showed you. You'll have to in and out point every single clip and export the long way. But hopefully this does solve your problem with most of your projects. I hope you found this useful. Make sure you subscribe for easy to follow filmmaking videos and I'll see you next time.